Competitor gap analysis is an important part of your content strategy. Without it, you won't know what keywords your competitor is ranking for, what keywords the competitor is not ranking for, and where the general gaps are in your competitor's content. There are many keyword research tools that you can use to do competitor gap analysis. You have Arefs, SEMrush, and a host of others. But I use Ubersuggest, and I'll explain why as we go on in this video. So I'm going to be showing you how to do a competitor gap analysis using Ubersuggest, since that's the platform that I use. Ubersuggest is one of the newer players in the keyword research tool arena. It was created by Neil Patel, who is considered one of those digital marketing gurus, but it is not as robust as some of the other more expensive keyword research tools available like RFs or SEMrush thing that attracted me to uber suggest was the pricing so you can either choose to do a monthly subscription or a lifetime the monthly subscription isn't bad and you, as you can see there are different options you can do the individual plan if you're just managing one to three websites the business if you're managing four to seven and the enterprise if you're managing eight or more but i chose to purchase the lifetime subscription because it makes more sense you have access to the entire software platform for a one-time fee that isn't bad this 120 us isn't bad i have this plan because i'm just managing basically two websites at the moment my website and a client's website so this is a perfect plan for me but these are the payment options and these options are far cheaper than uh, some of the competitors such as RFs or SEMrush. For RFs, for instance, you have to pay $99 per month. I think that's the minimum amount. And that's a lot of money. That's over a thousand dollars per year. And I just couldn't afford that. So I chose Uber Suggest. So now we're getting into the nitty gritty. And I am going to be showing you how to do this competitor gap analysis using Express Writers as my competitor. When you come into Uber Suggest, remember that I was saying to you that you should have the paid version or you should invest in the paid version. What you're seeing now would be features accessible to those who have the paid version. All right. So if you have the free version, you're not going to be seeing what I am seeing now. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to competitive analysis, this area. Then you go to top pages by traffic. And then you type in your competitor's URL. We're starting here because you want to see what pages are driving the most traffic for your competitor. So this is the list and there are two pages of articles that Express Writers is, con is currently ranking for. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look through this list and identify topics or titles that relate to things that I would want to write about. So this is the list of top pages by traffic for expresswriters.com. I'm going to select the articles that are most relevant to what I would be writing about. Now, if you notice, as you go down this list, you will see that the number of backlinks, those Articles with greater backlinks or more backlinks tend to have more visits. If you look at that, if you notice that this one has the most backlinks and it doesn't have the most visits though, but that may be due to the keywords associated with that article. So what I want to point out why I mentioned that is you have to pay attention to the backlinks that are going to your articles. It's not just about getting the keywords put in and building your topic cluster you have to focus on your backlink building as well all right now that i've selected the articles that are most relevant to what i would want to write about i'm going to export the selected to a csv file and the csv file is basically an excel sheet now i have the articles, the URL, the article titles, the URLs, the number of visits 
it hasn't given me the backlinks for whatever reason. So I want to have the backlinks. So I'm going to go back. Let me just move this down. I'm going to go back and, and input the backlinks so that I have it. Before we move on, what I want you to do is look at the backlinks for each of the articles that you have selected. So these are the websites that are including links to these articles. These lists are going to form a very important part of your backlink outreach, which I won't be discussing in this video, but it's important for to mention right here so that you have it in mind. So your competitor gap analysis begins with looking at the top pages on your competitor's website, highlighting or ticking the articles that are relevant to what you would want to share on your own website and also looking at the backlinks. We won't be diving into backlink outreach in this video, but knowing where to find these backlinks on Ubersuggest is very important. What we're now going to do is look at our CSV file that we just exported with the links to the articles. We're going to open these articles and look at them, read them, analyze them assess what's good and what's bad with these articles where are the gaps in these articles what what could you do better what could i do better since this is for my website what could i do better or write better to make this topic stand out more to my target audience so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to look at each article all of these articles and assess what is strong what is weak what is good what is bad and what you could do is in this same sheet you could add uh, some columns where you put in your comments so you could make this your comments column and then you would write your comments here for each article what you're going to do next is look at the keywords that your competitor is ranking for and uber suggests is going to list the keywords in terms of highest volume to lowest volume. We're going to look for the keywords that relate to what I want to write about. And you will do the same for your brand, whatever keywords are relevant to you and to the articles that you want to create, the content that you want to create. Those are the ones that you're going to focus on. So now that I've ticked everything relevant to me, I'm going to export the selected like what I did before with the top pages by traffic. So I have all of the keywords that my competitor is ranking for. They're put the position, the volume, estimated visits, the specific article that is related to that keyword that they're ranking for and the difficulty of each keyword. What Uber suggests doesn't do that other keyword research platforms actually do is show you the keywords or the related keywords that your competitor does not rank for uber suggest does not do that and that's such a critical thing i wish they would include it because what i'm going to have to do now is go back to keyword analyzer go to keyword keyword ideas and then type in each of these keywords to find relevant keywords or associated keywords that my competitor is not ranking for. So my competitor is already ranking for quite a few of these. This one they're not ranking for. But I must point out as well that you can't just look at the keyword without looking at the volume. Because sometimes you try to rank for these long tail keywords and the volume isn't high enough to warrant using that keyword so you, you end up not getting the traffic that you want so like for these so like for these keywords the volume is very low not too low to the point where you should ignore these because these keywords actually offer an opportunity for you to outrank your competitor because your competitor is not focusing on these keywords so I would say yes, go for the keywords that your competitor is not ranking for and then look at the volume for each of those keywords. So like before, like what we did before, you can select the keywords 
that your competitor is not ranking for and then export that csv file and do a comparison and you would do that for each of the articles ultimately you're looking for the keywords and the keyword phrases that your competitor is not ranking for and you're going to use those to outrank your competitor doesn't mean that you should eliminate altogether the the keywords that your competitor is already ranking for but your focus will be on keywords that your competitor is not ranking for so there are five sections of the keyword ideas portal for uber suggest you can look at the suggestions which is a long list of keywords and keyword phrases you can look at related which shows you related keywords you can look at questions and questions is a good place to go it covers the questions people actually type in google and the questions that people ask verbally so like when you ask alexa a question or syria question and the answer pops up or syria or alexa does the search yeah that's what this is good for but my focus for this copyright or content writer keyword would not be for the people who are looking to become a copywriter but it will be for the people who are looking for a copywriter so i have to ensure that the keywords and the keyword phrases that i choose relate to that you can also filter your keywords based on search volume so you can put in a maximum search volume and a minimum search volume remember i was saying before that you don't want to choose keywords where the search volume is low like very low so i would choose a minimum of 40 i don't want a maximum and everything else is okay for me so you can use the filter to narrow down the search and ensure that you're only looking at keywords that are relevant for what you're searching for we've looked at a lot today so i'm just going to recap the steps to do competitor gap analysis using uber suggest step one go to the top pages by traffic section step two export a csv file with the article urls relevant to your brand step three assess strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats for each of the articles that you have identified step four go to keywords by traffic step five filter your search to remove low volume keywords step six focus on keywords for which your competitor doesn't rank but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't pay attention to the keywords that they do rank for it's just that your focus should be more so on the keywords that they don't currently rank for so that you can capitalize on that now with everything that i have said i know that i mentioned throughout this video what i would like to write about or what you would like to write about let me be clear i'm not saying that you should just get topics out of thin air your topics should be based on your customer research that's where you start before you start doing keyword research you start with your customer research and i will have other videos that, that, that explain how to do effective customer research so look out for those I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss another video see you in the next video